Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by Dismal Fate Records. And we have Cadaverty with Seepage released on Dismal Fate Records. Italian death metal label of the highest order, I would say. Pretty much, if you're getting something from Dismal Fate Records, chances are it's top shelf death metal. I mean, from the Necrophagia reissues to everything I've gone over recently, especially this bad boy, the body bag demo, fuck. But Cadaverty, My buddy on here, Pazuzu, he fucking told me in advance I was going to love this, and he was absolutely correct. He was like, yo, you're gonna really like that Cadaverty seepage tape. And I was like, oh, like, sick, cause like, the logo's fucking badass. You know a logo's badass, and I, I said this a couple days ago, as lame as it sounded, at first, I was like, which way do I hold the sticker? Like, I, I didn't know at first. <laughs> then I figured it out. I felt like a fucking idiot, but... You get five tracks of just absolutely gross, crushing death metal. It's awesome. Like, it has riffs. It has awesome fucking inhuman vocals. And I really like the drum sound. Just no information about, you know, who's in this band, what country they're from. I didn't do any research ahead of the time, so this was mixed and mastered at Studio XB, so wherever that is, fucking A, man. This is really well produced, and like, it has that punchy death metal sound I know a lot of you really like and it's just fucking good like I, I don't I know that sounds lame like oh it's just fucking good but when you have tracks like violent cadaveric spasm vicious trans transudation nos poetic corpus Seepage, Audi Hyde, Temulence. Yeah. <laughs> Seepage by Cadaverty is just fucking heavy death metal for fans of heavy death metal. It's straight to the fucking point. No promo photos. I really like the style, like with the um, cursive writing for the song titles. I love the unreadable logo. The cover art is fucking gross, which is always great. And I really dig the fucking, like, the EP slash demo title, Seepage. It's gross, and yeah. Very early carcass influence here. much if you're a fan of crushing death metal along with early carcass and a little bit of gore cadaverty seepage has your name written all fucking over it five tracks of just killer death metal 
And I really have to thank Pazuzu for, you know, being like, yo, make sure you check out that Cadaverty tape. Because, uh, at first I was like, alright, I'm gonna go over this shit that, like, I already, like, heard and stuff. But this, I, I just had to check it out. Like, I was just intrigued alone, like, by the logo and everything. And just with the cursive... I, I, Again, stylistic choices sometimes matter. And again, when it comes to Dismal Fate Records, like keeping a steady, you know, um, logo when it comes to your titles, I think it's fucking rad. Like, I mean, a lot, everybody does it, but not many labels nowadays use the actual band font every single time with the same font so like you can pick out you know like, here's a head split release and head split always you're gonna get your head split logo and everything just like every tape label they put their stamp on there and whatnot unless it's diy but i really like how dismal fate you know it's the band title that's always the same. And I just think it's so fucking cool. It's such a nice little cosmetic touch to their releases that make them stand out from other ones. Like, I really like the Blood Spawn one because it just screams in your face. Like, you know, hey, we're called Blood Spawn and. Same with, like, the body bag demo. It's just, like, listen to me. And also with, like, Cadaverty. Fucking A. So sick. And also we have the, um, Abreaction reissue. Which is really, really sick cosmetically. They did a bang-up job on this. But, again, not veering away from keeping the same... Logo font. I think that's just fucking cool. Like, that little extra cosmetic detail just, to me, adds... Just, I don't know. It not only puts a stamp on, like, that, alright, Dismal Fate is obviously some high-quality product. I know it's limited number of releases, and that is a bummer. I know it's an... Italian label, so for some of us stateside, a single tape could cost like $38 sometimes, depending if you want a tracking number or if you just want to fucking risk it. But like, I trust Dismal Fate 100%, but you know, a lot of their releases, they're just out of my price range. So like, being able to get some for the channel, I'm fucking grateful for it. So, like, heavy fucking hails to Dismal Fate Records. I wish I had their letter here, because I forget their boss's name off the top of my head, because I really do want to say thank you, man, for not only, like, hooking up the channel, but for putting out fucking killer releases of, like, a lot of bands that, you know, I wouldn't have heard otherwise. Like, Cadaverty, Blood Spawn, like, I had no idea. And especially, like, you know... Finding out, like, Blood Spawn's, like, a Midwest death metal band. That's awesome. So, like, maybe one day they'll play Philly and shit. And, like, you know, that's fucking rad. But, Cadaverty seepage, like, killer death metal. It's got some carcass parts. A little bit of gore, but, like, mostly straight up, like, just... Are you really gonna love me forever? Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna blast some death metal. But, nah. Cadaverty seepage. If you're looking for some fucking death metal to just, you know, straight up fucking crush your face in, you can't go wrong with Cadaverty seepage on Dismal Fate Records. This cassette right here sounds like a garbage truck. 
dropped off the Empire State Building. And when they finally pulled the cassette from the twisted, blackened shell, it sounded like this. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Fucking A. I love the I really, really love this release. Cadaverty, seepage, fuck yeah. Dismal fate records. Fucking rule. Now, if only I could get more copies when they come stateside. Because I would, it's seriously, they're one of those labels that just fucking kill it. Everything they do is like a banger. And um, about a USA body bag release, I have zero information. All I know is, I want this t-shirt so bad. That shirt is so fucking cool, man. I think they only made like 20? Or 50? It, it's like... The actual number's like messed up. I can't see how many... I'm sure that's long sold out, man. September 2021. But... I am kind of confused though, like, Dylan from Head Split, if you're watching this, are you going to release this stateside? I'm just going to save a lot of emails and shit, because for some reason people have been asking me, I don't know, I don't know this band at all personally, like, so please, I, I really have no idea what head splits plans are when it comes to body bag you would have to ask disguster 666 aka dylan but he's a busy guy and it's the holidays but this is something i really really thought would fall under the head split like name and i still think it might but you know, doing a dry... I, I wouldn't even call it a dry run. Like, it's legit like a gore-soaked fucking, you know, 100% sellout run of Severed Existence by Body Bag. Like, this demo just sold the fuck out. To me, that shows that there's in, a definite interest. And I'm seeing these labels, you know, give these bands that are, like, new these, you know, chances to be on vinyl, and I think it's fucking rad, you know? Like, having your, like, first demo put out on vinyl, like, fucking Kill Records does it a lot. Like, Gasudar and Carcinoid. You get the two Gasudar songs and the three Carcinoid songs from the demo on 180 gram vinyl. And it's limited to 210 copies. Like, it's cool as fuck. You get different artwork. I like shit like that. But, like, this really needs to be on vinyl. And buy an American label. And I'm just saying that because, like, Extremely Rotten just did the Pathologist LPs. And it's just completely out of my price range. Like... I went to see how much it would cost to check out, and like my my birthday and and my birthday's like right after Christmas, and even with Christmas coming up, I was like, "Fuck!" Like I'm not even I'm not even gonna bother. Like it's way too much money. But yeah, Dismal Fate Records killing it in 2021. Definitely one of my favorite releases. Cadaverty with seepage. Get into it. This is probably sold out. If so, I apologize, but still check it out digitally. 
it's fucking gnar. <laughs> it's seriously gnarly. And I have a question for you real quick. Which logo do you like more? And this is a serious question. The new Torture Rack logo? Or the old Torture Rack logo? They're very similar, but there is a difference. Here, I'll grab, uh, fuck. Barbaric Persecution. It's just the, the body's a little bit more, and, uh, it's just a little more detailed. But, a lot of people, they're like, oh, dude, I, I love the old logo. I, I really want to get that fucking hoodie, too. But I, I'm a big Torture Rack fan, as you folks know. And, yeah. Same with Disgorge Mexico. But, heavy hails again to Dismal Fate Records. I still have not made it through the new Wolves in the Throne Room record yet. I've tried so many times to sit through it front to back. One day, I'll get the video done. But for now, Cadaverty, Seepage, Five Tracks, Gore Riddled, Death of the Highest Order, Get Into It and Have a Violent Cadaveric Spasm While Blasting, Seepage on Dismal Fate Records. I'll stop rambling. That's what RSO taps, capsules will do to you. Uh, like... 150 milligrams something it's like ah it's nothing and then before you know it it's like <laughs> fuck god damn it like i'm just talking nonsense so i'm gonna shut the fuck up and i want you folks to go listen to cadaverty and check out the patreon it costs a dollar just for christmas you can do it for one month only just a dollar it would help greatly if we could somehow get to a hundred patrons. I'll do something special, cause then I'll be able to. Cause it costs money to like fucking set up uh, through Vimeo and do like a like, like a video just for those guys. And then after like a month, I was gonna post it publicly, but I can't do it. But I might be able to make a video private on here, give Patreons the link, and then after a month make that video public. Would you guys be cool with that? Because I made a promise a long time ago that you would never have to pay for content. But, you know, Dr. Copays cost a lot of money. And after my injury... You know, certain things started drying up very fast. I started owing a lot of money very fast. This is not a pity party. I do not have a GoFundMe. Help on Patreon. A dollar. Like, legit, a dollar. It helps at the end of the month. That shit adds up. And, yeah, it really, really... I look forward to that payday at the end of every month because it's like yes you know i can get something else taken care of in this accident because there's st i still have like teeth to get fixed I, I have a lot of you know expensive shit that my health insurance doesn't cover and you know i did fall right on my face i broke a couple teeth out they need to be they need to be fixed now my neck bones are healed but the muscles they still are not so you know they can still they can do dental work now so i can finally get these teeth fixed but it's very expensive so you know the patreon links in the video description every quarter penny everything helps at the end of the month so if you want to support this channel that's really the only way to do it. So, I appreciate it. But as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Listen to Cadaverty. 
Check out Dismal Fate Records. Kiss the goat, motherfuckers. Hails. Yeah.